the first thing that you're going to teach your wrestlers is to be just very aggressive with this half and just run it hard uh, and really just try to, to snap your opponent. Um, what we're emphasizing here is you cannot run this move in circles be, because even a junior level opponent can learn to counter that. Uh, you get your knee in the chest, um, and it's an alternating give and take between whipping him and running him and whipping him and running him. And the second clip uh, really demonstrates that give and take. And if you'll practice this instead of just running this in circles, uh, you'll be able to become very good at this move very quickly. Sometimes I'll be wrestling somebody in their pain. It's a hard to turn, to post in a lot, really strong. What I need to do is what I call a whip. When I'm going to whip him in front of me. So I'll be wrestling this guy. No, I'm trying to turn and I won't be able to be like, will you get over here? Yeah. I'll be trying to turn him. I'm going to be really strong and be in a pain. All I'm going to do is say, will you get over here? So if you're driving somebody and they're really, really strong and really, really hard to turn, block his knees with yours and whip him in front of you. The difference between the one o'clock things, like when he's weighing, is here. If, he, if I'm on about one o'clock, I lift my elbow and I take him up. But on this whip, the difference is my elbow, my right elbow, stays level. And I whip him. So that extends him to fall to his side. If you can get a guy to his side and you can't turn, <laughs> oh, that's some work. Throw that knee in here. You're going to take him. 